One of our friends said that we moved from IT to cream teas when we first moved up here. When we decided to give up our proper jobs and take on um, a tea room and a shop in the Lake District, I couldn't actually afford to treat myself with a lot of the lovely natural products that I used to have. And so I started reading up about essential oils and I found that there was actually science there that within these essential oils and these plant ingredients, there were all of these fantastic natural things that do sort of like soothe inflammation. So it was, it was science. Sandra um, started making products herself for our own use and our friends, etc. Um, a number of our friends actually run guest houses locally to us um, and they asked if we could produce some stuff to put in the rooms, um, which we did and we got more and more people interested and in the end we said let's set up our own little business. We've found a niche in the market and are providing a product that fills that niche and giving businesses the opportunity to, uh, to use something that cuts down on plastic waste and also means that biodegradable material is going down into the water systems. This is handmade within the UK and using natural products um, and that's important from an environmental point of view. Langdale is a 35 acre site right in the heart of the Lake District. We're very keen that we, we work and uh, live in a vibrant community and part of that, essential to that, is local businesses thriving uh, and providing those local businesses deliver for us what we need, what we want and are competitive, we, we really want to support them. Uh, and Pure Lakes does that. Uh, it, it, it competes with other people and other brands very successfully. So Sandra, we're here at one of the hotels that you supply. I mean, here's some of your products sitting here. What, what have we got here? Well, basically, this is one of the first products that we developed and it's a, a liquid hand wash but it's made like a traditional glycerin soap. A lot of the people that come to the Lake District, mm -hmm. they want to be out sort of riding their bikes and things like this. And this is actually a, an anti-chafing wax that we developed, especially right. for cyclists. It's made with beeswax and it's got tea tree oh, yes. and coconut butter in there. We've got some uh, massage and bath oil. You can tell I like my massages, can, can't yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of a theme coming yeah, through here, isn't there, really? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so again, sort of um, a lovely sort of massage oil and this grapefruit and lemongrass one, it is like a very invigorating and you know quite a stimulating one. We really believe that all these lovely natural ingredients, you know, they've been used for thousands of years and um, to great effect and they still work really well today. And so we've got to kind of keep that, we've got to promote it and make sure that and support nature and make sure that they're there for you know for us and for all generations in the future. Feedback is in terms of cash, we sell it in the shop. So people experience it in our showers and, and our changing areas, in our, in our washrooms, and then they go and buy it. We have a very nice trade off the back of that. We literally did start with one or two customers when we first started. Um, we've now got over a hundred customers within the hospitality, the B&B hotel uh, industry. What to you are the, are the benefits of, of, of having a, a business that is uh, environmentally sound and giving back to the local community. I, I think that's what I think that's the way all businesses should be run. I don't see any reason why um, businesses shouldn't be. Obviously, we want to make a profit and employ people, but we should be involved in the community um, and we should be looking after the environment. You know, I don't see any reason why they have to be mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm.